We tend to think of AI as a monolith, one specific thing that has been specified by decades of science fiction movies, so the picture in our head is basically this. But AI comes in many different shapes and forms and frankly, chances are you used AI even today through social media's timeline filtering, Waze and Google Maps, Spotify, Netflix and Amazon, we are using some form of AI every day. But it's an invisible form and it's no accident that we have false presumptions about AI because we can't really understand how it works by using Waze. But as you probably heard, the newest craze of the day is the AI-generated pictures. And I want to give you a little guide through how they work and how they give you a glimpse inside the mind of the artificial intelligence of today. My name is Otto Bertalomescu and you're watching The Medical Futurist. Meet Journey is something you probably heard about in passing before. It's a famous AI program that creates images from simple descriptions. So, for example, at The Medical Futurist, we are doing a new article on how cheap genome sequencing could improve healthcare and the lives of patients. And instead of asking our graphic designer Adam to create a new one, we thought we could leverage this powerful new tool to illustrate its power. So, let's try to give it a pitch. We are on the Discord server called Meet Journey and we type slash imagine and then we can include the brief. Well, let's say uh, a doctor is reading a patient's DNA genetic report and is making a decision about the health of the patient in a futuristic hospital. Let's see. Well, we made two versions. Each contains four images. All of them have some sort of DNA report or genetic report in a futuristically looking hospital. And the doctor is looking a bit creepy and there is no patient at all, but at least it sort of resembles the brief that we included. I wanted to show you this for two reasons. First, the way the AI trying to interpret your pitch is a fascinating glimpse into what it knows about us, the word, and how it translates it into visual ideas. But more importantly, the way I can use it to help illustrate my article is exactly how we in healthcare should think about it. Not as something that will take our jobs, but as a tool that can help us do the small tasks that bog us down so that we could focus on the important things that only we can do, like understanding the overall health of our patients and putting them on the right treatment plans. If you like this video, please subscribe below. So you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.